it's Friday, May 28th. We're back in the same area where we saw the head of the jake on Monday. I just looked over my shoulder. I don't know if it's the hen, the jake, or another bird, but it's making its way down here, so I don't know how I'm going to get everything shifted around. We may have to rely on the tag to cam, but hopefully it's decent. Unfortunately, the birds angled up the hill, staying well out of shotgun range. The following morning was rainy, so I took a chance and moved to an area near some hemlocks, hoping maybe the birds would try to use them for cover when they roosted. Well, not a whole lot has gone right this morning, although better than losing a camera in the rain, I guess. An investment in auto camo umbrella makes a lot of difference, but uh, the break in the rain we were supposed to get doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Maybe this evening now, I'm not sure. But I'm thinking we're going to get back, kind of try everything out, and be ready to go if an opportunity this evening presents itself to get out. Well, I was pretty optimistic going into this evening. I thought I had a pretty good plan, and uh, to be honest, I guess I did, but just didn't execute it in time. Walking in here, I got not 10 yards from where I wanted to set up, and as soon as I could see down over the hill, there were four birds just down here on the hillside. I don't even know. Jake's or hens, they look small, but it could have been they were all hens. That just doesn't seem likely to me. But uh, they didn't fly off, and I never heard any budding, so I'm guessing they kind of just worked their way away from me. Maybe they'll come back or set up basically right above where we've been going in the mornings and seeing them up on this hillside. So. Hopefully they're going to come back here. Like I said, if they didn't spook bad, they might, but it's amazing to be number one. How close we can get without closing the deal. And number two, how many times now I've seen turkeys pretty close and not been able to get footage. I don't know what is going on over there. I think I saw a deer just bolt through an opening. So, oh yeah. One right here. Alright, well that helped just a little bit. Not gonna lie, seeing those turkeys there before I got here bummed me out quite a lot, but I'll tell you what, I'm excited for the future for uh our buck population, that's probably number 12 or 13 I've seen as far as different young bucks in velvet. And uh, I don't even know, there were two that I saw definitely that had antlers. That first one that zipped through there may have as well, but I don't know, stuff's moving. It's only a quarter after six, so maybe we do have a chance yet tonight. Before I knew it, the birds seemed to be on their way back, headed along the hillside, moving directly towards me. Adding an extra layer to the chaos of having so many sets of eyes to catch any movement, I couldn't even move the camera to the jakes at this point. 
Yet another young buck chose this moment to walk up the hill directly at me, passing just behind me. By the time I was certain the deer had passed through, more birds had made their way out in front of me. They continued to mill around just beyond my comfortable shotgun range of 50 yards, but finally, one Jake worked his way up the hill and got just a bit closer. At first, I thought he had seen my slight adjustment of the camera and spooked, but then I quickly began to realize what was happening. Monday morning, the birds were there once again. However, once they flew down off the roost, the jakes began fighting, which seemed to send them off in the opposite direction of where they had gone on previous mornings. One quick note, as always, if you haven't checked out the Meat Hunters channel here on YouTube, I would definitely recommend doing so. You can see my hunting videos four days early, plus the hunts from the other guys in the crew. This will be my last hunt until fall, so if you're looking for other hunting content, we'll still have weekly uploads throughout the year from other members. It's been an hour and a half now since they flew down and went the other direction. 
station. For the past three weeks, every time I've seen them, when they flew down off the rooster, even if I didn't actually see them fly down, they've hit the ground and gone across the hillside this direction. And it looked like they were gonna do that again. I don't know how much I got on film um, before the Jakes started fighting because I was just moving super slow and careful, trying not to get seen. But once those two started fighting, they all just moved the other way, so go figure. But rather than potentially spook them by moving around back here looking for them, I'm just gonna back up and get out. Got this evening and that's it, but clearly they roost in here a lot. And when I come back this evening, I'm not sitting at this tree again. Monday evening came and went, without so much as a sighting, ending my 2021 spring turkey season with my tag still in my pocket. I can't be upset. The encounters and experiences with spring wildlife alone made the time put in well worth it. I also was chasing younger birds, prioritizing obtaining meat. I felt as though the turkey population is a bit weaker this year than most, so not filling my tag, especially on one of the jakes, is a more than fine result in my eyes. That said, I learned a lot this season, not only about filming and hunting quiet birds, but also about my own approach to hunting. I feel as though my reluctance to make an aggressive move, for fear of spooking the turkeys and costing me an opportunity, ultimately cost me anyway. I'll take that lesson along with the others gained this season, and I look forward to applying them on future hunts. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.